I'm from a town where the young never shut our eyes. Pick your poison, you could ride with those other guys. Life is more than just a dream when your team's strong. We write anthems, this is more than just a theme song. Rap bees on our winter wears. Welcome to b I'm the home of the phenoms. It's only one city that we lean on. We call that. What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you another edition of our Minecraft playthrough. Now let's get into it right now. So as you guys can see in the bottom left hand corner of the screen I updated to 1.6.2 so there apparently are a lot of differences in the game now. I don't really know too many of them because I didn't really bother to look them up but there should be a substantial amount of differences so we're not going to waste any time. Let's get into the game, Etika Land, play Selected World. Now. In the comment section of the last video, a lot of you guys were telling me about stuff that I had missed that I should have been paying attention to. Namely, the fact that I have carrots in my chest upstairs. So that whole thing about making sugar cane to kind of like get a map and to look for carrots in like a village or something. Don't really need to do all that because I have carrots right in the crib. So what this pretty much means is that now we can pretty much start our carrot farm, lure a bunch of pigs into the farm already while taking out that huge middle step of trying to find a village to be able to do this kind of thing. Now, since this is a pretty big new update to Minecraft, I'm expecting a few things to be different. Hopefully, nothing that'll be able to kill me, but eh, I think everything should be okay. Interesting how the lighting... Oh, probably because... I was wondering, why is it dark here and then light here? Because of this torch, of course. Anyways, now, let us get those carrots, finally. You know, it's crazy because I was always like saying, man, oh man, it's going to be difficult trying to find these carrots in a village, but I don't even have to do all that now, so this is really great. All right, and um, yeah, this pretty much makes our lives a lot easier. So we kind of don't really need that sugar cane farm anymore, but we're going to go mess with it just to see, because I think it'll be good to have a map in general of this place. So we're going to go check out the sugar cane farm, make sure everything's all good, and then we are going to also, at the same time, plant some of the stuff that we have. So if I remember correctly, the sugar cane farm was somewhere over here. Yeah, there we go. Shining like a beacon of hope in the darkness. Ah, uh, sugar cane farm. Oh, wow, it's growing. Okay, there we go. You see, now, that's what I'm talking about here. But I saw some of you guys tell me that sugar cane actually grows faster on sand. So we're going to re replace all this dirt with sand. Too bad you can't make sand, but I guess that wouldn't make too much sense. So, yeah. All right, then. So let's get us some sand dug up. Let's put a torch here so monsters don't come. That'll be really ugly. Oh, boy. Maybe I shouldn't do this at night. Maybe I shouldn't, but you know what? I'm not, I'm not a punk. I'm going to do this. You know, it's all good. If anything, I can just fight them all because I have the sword with me anyway, so it's all good. All right, then. So, now. Ah, my finger. Ah. Okay, then. So, now let's get us some sand. Sand. Excellent. I was thinking it would go deeper than that, but oh well. Yeah, the sand isn't going deep at all, man. Damn. Okay. Um, we don't really... Whoa, what? Iron shovel plus three attack damage. What? What does this mean? What's going on here? What's all this new stuff here? Okay, maybe after the new update, all my stuff got, like, enchanted or something? Looks interesting, though. Okay, so, we don't want to make the whole thing spill into the farm, or rather have the water spill out of the farm, so we're just going to avoid that at all costs here. But we're going to get this in anyways. What? Oh. I was wondering, yo, why isn't that breaking so fast? Oh, because it's, it's not dirt. It really is tough to see at nighttime, though. So, you know what? I'm not going to stay out here for too much longer. Okay. Let's get this sand up. Oh, a lot of sand up in this piece. Okay. Let's take some of this. And um, we should... Oh, come on. Great. All right. Whatever. Um, all right. After a while, we should have enough sand here. Um, wait, why am I being pushed so hard? I'm really being pushed hard. The water is really pushing me, man. Is this something new? I've never seen water be able to push you like this before. 
Water can really push you now, man. This is really pushing me far. Okay, we got to jump out. Okay, I do not like that sound. Oh, snap. Okay, all right, we got him. We got him. It's no problem. But look, the water is really pushing him. He can't even come to me anymore. Never mind. All right, we're just going to finish you off. And uh, let's continue getting this sand. I'm going to have to sink into the water to get this. Hopefully no monsters try to give me a surprise attack while I'm down here. That would really suck. Okay. And um, I think we'd pretty much be good. The reason why I want the sand is because, I mean, a lot of you guys told me that, oh, you know, sand makes, sand, um, sand makes your uh, sugar cane go faster. So it's like, okay, great. You know, I guess that's exactly what I need. All right, then. So now everything should be good. So we're going to replace everything here with sand instead of this dirt. So let's do it. Hopefully my design of a farm is, like, substantial enough. Um, put this down. Okay, and now for the sand. Okay. Fuck. But yeah, how have you guys been? Uh, I'm sorry if I seem a little quiet this episode. It's a little bit late. I'm tired. And I kind of waited really, really late to play Minecraft. So, um, yeah, bad choice on my part. But, oh well. I would definitely be do I would definitely do it a bit earlier in the day next time because you know in general playing anything at nighttime is tiring after a while. And I just wasted three blocks of sand, but you know what? It's okay. It is okay. We're just gonna Oh come on, no. Alright, we're just going to take this and um wait, no, 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 no. Okay, let's get some oxygen. It falls! I forgot about that. Okay, whatever. It's all good. We'll just put some dirt at the bottom of it. Okay, then. Now, we should be good. Excellent. And there's no water in here. Oh, well, that works out really nicely, but... Okay. Alright, then. Uh, now we can replace this dirt with the sand. There we go. Okay. Now we can let this flow out and in. Let's see, can we put some of this... Where did the sugar cane go? There we go. Okay, great. I thought we lost it for a minute. Um... Ah, little piggy wants some sugar cane. Oh, I'm sorry, piggy. You can't have any of this, though. This isn't meant for you. This is meant for... me. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's place this down here. Why can't I do it? <gasps> oh, shit. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ah, uh, let's go. Yeah. No one's killing me today. All right, then. Um, now we can just start putting this down, too, I guess. No. We need more water here. Oh, luckily for me, I have a water bucket right here, ready. Oh, man, my dude got shot up. But okay, I'm ready. Uh, water bucket right here. Let's take some of this water. I love how this dude has, like, a magical reach where he can, like, reach for water, like, from over there. <laughs> oh, man, this is hilarious. Especially when you put it into third-person mode, you can see him actually reach that far. And it's like, wow, okay. This dude has some serious limb power. Great. Now let's get a little bit more water. Yeah, I like having everything full all the way. None of this crease stuff. And there we go. Boom. Now let's put sound some more. I love how our wall. Oh! No, no, no. Hey, you broke my sugar cane. Okay. No, no, no. No, no, no. I hate having too much stuff, then I miss all the important stuff I need to pick up. My sugar cane, man. Did I get it all? Okay, I did get it all. I think I got it all. Okay. Now let's continue replacing this with sand. I'll just let that pig chill there. He's not hurting anybody. 
Zombies, man, they really want me tonight. Oh, boy. Okay, you know what? I can't really see anything out here. It's so dark, so you know what? Screw this. I'm just going to go sleep. I think I just ran past something. Oh, yeah, I sure did. Okay. Got my sword in hand. I should make it back safely. And so I can sleep. Is that thing still following me? No, I'm good. Okay. Let's get upstairs. ASAP. So we can sleep because right now it is feeling way too dangerous to be doing any of this crazy stuff right now. Is there something up there? No. Okay, good. I was about to lose my mind. I thought I saw the white and I didn't know it was a cloud. So I was like, okay, something's up there. Wait, you hear that? Okay, there's nothing. Thank God. Okay, good. And the sun's rising too. That looks so beautiful. Now that is a beautiful thing to wake up to. The sun giving you a blowjob. <laughs> um, Alright then, so... Wait, my health! My health didn't come back! Oh, come on, that's so stupid. Well, let's finish up that farm down there. Yes, I love the splash. We need more light down here. It's really dark. Oh, okay. It's kind of hard to see when it's nighttime. That's why I wanted to switch to daytime as well, because it's really difficult to see anything out there. Um, but yeah, let's hurry this process up, because I want to hurry up and get into a dungeon. And, you know, just fixing the damn crop took so much time. Okay. This is the weirdest farm ever. How you got ice blocks growing right next to your harvest? Like, that is so weird. But okay. Uh, okay, you know what? Let me just gather all the sugar here. Okay, I'm going to gather it all, and then now I can just dig up the dirt without having to be careful of the sugar cane or anything like that. Okay, there we go. Now, sand time. Okay. You know what? Why not? Okay, now let's dig down this stuff. Okay. All right, that worked out really well. A lot better than I thought it would. And we still have sand to boot, it looks like. There we go. Finally, we are done with that. So now, let's put down the sugar cane and we'll finally have us an operating farm that's... Nope, that doesn't make any sense. And we'll finally have us a farm that'll do the job that we need it to. They should go sugar cane faster like you guys told me. So I'm going off of what you guys told me. You know, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm doing what you guys told me. And uh, boom. Wait, no. No. There. What? Oh, there we go. There we go. That doesn't work? Okay. And there's no more sugar cane. All right, so let's see if we can plant some of these carrots now. Can't plant them in water, huh? Okay, this isn't working. Well, we'll figure it out next episode. Thank you once again, guys, for tuning in. Etika from the Etika World Network signing off. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. What's going on, guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more Minecraft. Anyways, let's not waste any time. Let's get into it right now. Okay, hopefully I got that synced up correctly. But if I remember from the last episode, we um we basically had uh what did we do? We fixed the farm, so everything here is now sand for the sandpaper. I mean, for the um, sugar cane. So now we'll be able to make paper much better. But at the same time, I'm really thinking that it's time for us to um, make this farm for these carrots. The only thing that's difficult about that is the fact that um, we're in a snowy biome, so it's going to be kind of difficult to do that. So I'm going to have to clear out some room from this jungle biome, or I can just find a biome which is more suitable for these carrots nearby. 
So it was kind of stupid for me to go to a snowy biome with this mountain, but I do like the white effect, and it helps me see monsters even better. So, you know what? I'm not complaining too much. And we can start our farm right here. It's all good, baby. Oh, wait, maybe we can't. Hmm. Wait a minute, what, did, what in the hell happened there? All right, I don't know why this is like this. I can't remember exactly, but we'll just fill this up. There we go. Boom. Okay. So now... I don't want to open up. Okay, so now we are going to... Um, let's see. We're going to have to put this in a snowy biome. I mean, in a, in a biome which is suitable for this kind of weather. Because if I put these carrots in a place that's like, you know, snowy biome, and then I try to put water there, it's going to freeze. So I got to figure out a way I can make this happen. I'll probably just clear out some more room from this side. I don't want to spend the whole episode mining shit, though, because that'll be really boring. So I'm going to try to see if I can hasten it up for you guys. Uh, okay. Technically, I don't really need that many carrots. In fact, you know what? Technically, I don't even need to start the farm. I already have the carrots here, right? You know what? Let's get those piggies in that farm right now. We're not wasting any time here. I don't need a whole lot. I just need a few. So let's go. Piggies, come here. Look, look what I've got for you. I got some, I got some dildos for you. Wow, they follow you fast now. Yeah, they follow you really fast. Aw, they are so adorable. Pigs are the most adorable animal in Minecraft, I swear. This is adorable. Look, I got a whole little army of bacon following me. Come on, piggies. Let's get all of you guys. Come on. Aw, and they're following me so fast. They're like, oh, he's got a carrot. Clearly, we must follow him to the depths of hell for this carrot. <laughs> Oh, man, they're so adorable. And they're all still following me. They follow you really fast. The animals used to follow you slow in the other one, but they follow you really fast here. Um, all right, let's go around and see if we can wrestle up some more pigs from over there. Get us some more bacon or pork chop. It'd be great if you could make bacon in Minecraft. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised that they didn't introduce that already because bacon seems like such a staple in pop culture nowadays. Come on along, piggies. Come along, come along. You know you want this carrot. You know you want it. Come on, come on. Just one carrot, and they all think they're getting it. Like, I find that hilarious. Um, okay. I'll walk a little slower now, just so I can make sure I keep all of them here. There's a lot of pigs around here, though. Maybe I didn't even need to do the farm. But, no, I want to make sure I have a renewable resource of animals. I don't want to someday find myself wishing that I hadn't killed all of them. I want them to all be around. So, we are going to wrestle up all these pigs. All of them. I think we already got a really good amount. Um, alright, let's get these two guys over here. Hey, guys, look what I have. A dildo, and it's orange. You know you want it. All you guys are either gay or girls. But if you're all girls, then that would mean that you wouldn't be able to breed and make little pigs. So you, some of you must be gay. Definitely. And they all still follow me. I don't think any got left behind. That works out really nicely. So that means we can pretty much take, like, a full house. Oh, wait, no, we're, we're missing some pigs. Hold on, wait, wait. Mortimer, come on. Mortimer. Mortimer, come on. There we go. Why isn't he coming? Don't you want to come with me so you can come in one of these pigs? Ha! <laughs> oh, Lord. Come on, come on. Jump up. Yeah, there we go. There we go. You got it. Come on. Come on. This is so adorable. Pigs are so cute. All right, I'm just going to take the ones out of here right now. Yeah, I'm just going to take you guys for now. I'll come back for the rest afterwards. Let's open these doors. No, don't eat the carrot. Open the door. That would be bad. You know, you, you, the one thing that you're using to attract them, and you just... And they all just scatter. It's like, shit. All right. Um, let's get these guys in here. And, oh, man, guys, ever since I've, like, become bigger... With subscribers and such, I've been getting the attention of a lot of names on YouTube, man. It's really astonishing to me. Come on, come on, come in here. Come in here, you know we want the carrot. Come on, come on. Let's go. Come on. You know you want it. Where you going? Where you going? You know you want this. Come get the carrot. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> come in. Come in, come in. My little friend. Come in, come in. Yes. Oh my god, they're pushing each other just to get inside the door? Come on. Come on. You got a nice, comfortable home with 
four stone walls here just waiting for you to enjoy yourselves, you know? This is, this is all a pig could ask for. All right, fine. This is fine. You know what? Whatever. I'll, I'll track you guys in there later. But all of them are... Yes, we finally have our farm created. Fine. Oh, shit. I know you want to leave, dude, but... Damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> all right, then. So, um, now we'll just bring these little cute oinkers in here. Boom. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Excellent. Yeah. Now you, come in. Why are you so worried for? It's just a, it's just a stone container with four walls in it. There's nothing to be scared of, man. Why are you scared? Oh, fuck. Why are you scared for? Come on. Come on in. Why are you scared? Are you scared? You can't be scared. All right, then. If you won't want to go in like that, then we're going to have to... Oh, no, no. The pigs are escaping. Oh, come on. Really? All right, then. We're going to have to do this the hard way. Some of you guys just don't want to come inside the farm. Oh, really now? Really now? Okay, then. All right. All right, then. You know what? Why are you so creepy for? You keep coming out the... This is so creepy. I do not like this whatsoever. You know what? Forget these pigs. We don't really need them. All right, then. Now we're going to have to start a crop. Yeah, we don't really need those pigs. We're all good. But we're going to need to go to sleep, that's for sure. So, let us do just that. Didn't I have, like, an easy way to get into my home from here? Oh, yeah, it's over here. All right, then. Boom. This little tunnel, man, is going to save my life multiple times. All right. We just run all the way to the end. What? Oh, yeah, I blocked it off. Okay. I won't ever come that way again, then. All right, let's see. We're going we're gonna to probably have to put some more torches down here because it's kind of dark now that I'm looking at it. That pig wrestling thing was more difficult than I thought it would be. All right, we're going to have to put a lot of torches around here because, you know, it's, it's actually a lot darker than I thought it would be. Okay. Okay, we're good. But we're hungry, though. Luckily, we got pigs and rotten flesh from zombies. So, let us indulge. Excellent. Now we are pretty much, you know, zombied out. Okay, boom, let's do it. Um... All right, so now that we got our pig farm, I do want to make them breed a lot so we can have more pigs for more food. So I guess we do have to start that crop, huh? Oh, well. And I do still want to make that map because I feel that the map will be useful for when we're actually out there questing and doing our own things. So you know what? Yeah, those things may seem like they're kind of trivial right now, but it's preparing for the future. So this way, we won't have to spend episodes working on this stuff later on when we already have it done right here. So, let us do it, my friends. We are going to plant some crops. The hard part is that it's in the snow weather, so we're going to have to work this. You know, it's kind of dark in this water, too. I don't like that, so I'm just going to put a light here, too. There we go. Excellent. All right, so. Now, I'm not exactly sure if... Wait a minute, can I plant the crop here? I think I can plant the crop here, dude. I think I can, because look, the, um, look, oh yeah, I can, all right, excellent. You know what, let me put a crafting table down here, though, because I don't feel like going all the way back upstairs for this shit. Okay, one, two, okay, get rid of this flower, we don't need you. All right, now we're going to put this crafting table down here. Now let us make a hoe. Oh, how do you make a hoe? Well, you go down to um, 42nd Street, Times Square. Go to 8th Avenue, and then um, you pretty much have to uh, solicit one of the young girls there. And boom, you have yourself a hoe. There we go. We did it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, let us um, put down some of this dirt. And I think it'll be okay because the water is not turning to ice down here for some freaking reason. I don't know why, but it, the water is not turning to ice. So that means we can pretty much use this as a crop area, which will work out really nicely later on. We got all this water, we got all this fertile land just ready to be used, so you know, 
This works out really well for me. Now, let's take our hoe and use her a bit. Let her get inside of some black earth. Yeah, you like that, don't you, hoe? You like that? You, you dirty hoe, ain't you? Oh, yeah, you dirty hoe. All right, cool. Now, we can um, plant some of this. And that is it. <laughs> there we go. You know what? It's kind of funny because I could have just planted the sugar cane down here as well. Why didn't I think of that? You know what? I feel like going and getting that sugar cane and the sand and just moving it all down here because I could have done this a while ago. Why did I decide to go all the way out there? This makes no sense. I'm so stupid when it comes to playing this game. But what is done is done. We are not going to cry over spilled milk. We're just going to clear out some more space down here so we can make the crop really something tomorrow a lot. Um, let's clear this out too. What? Oh. Okay. Now, um, I think this is good for now. This is good for now. I won't, I won't like clear up that much more space, but, um, I'll, I'll definitely have it available ready in case I do need to do something like that. Let's put a stone block here and then put a torch on top of it just to make sure that everything is getting the right amount of light that it needs because I want these to grow as fast as possible. Booyah. There we go. Excellent. Now, I think we are ready here. You know, let me put some more torches on the water because the shit is kind of disturbing. I don't want anything spawning down here at night messing up my crops. You know, when, when Farmer Etika comes to town, he makes sure that he sets up some safe shop for his crops. And uh, I think we're good for the most part. Um, now, when we're leaving, how are we going to prevent our crops from getting damaged? That's the only thing. I don't want this stuff to, like, get stepped on and then we lose a crop because of me trying to jump. So... I think I know exactly what to do. We are going to make a little extendable path here. So this way, I can jump over the crop and not worry about, you know, stepping on it. And we can swim our way down. So, you know, that's a good plan. That's a really good plan. I like that. All right, boom. Now, boom. And then, boom. Boom. And then finally, kaboom. And blah, blah, blah. Am. There we go. We got us a goddamn skip a -roo jumpy thing that we can also put torches on that'll be really cool for transferring ourselves out of this bitch like kibbles and bits there we go oh, wait what the fuck hopefully none of this stuff gets dried up i don't know what the mechanics are of the soil getting dried up from stone but hopefully this design is not detrimental for the crop hopefully i'm hoping let me put some torches on this bitch make sure that everything gets the right amount of light I got this whole thing lit up like a Christmas tree, but you know what? I don't mind. As long as it prevents monsters from getting in here and at the same time encourages growth of my crops, then your boy isn't complaining. And there we go. This place is lit. There we go. Let's turn up. All I do is turn up. Oh, and we can run across it. Oh, that is so cool. All right. Whatever. We are good here. Now I can walk across this, jump up. Boom, then jump down whenever I need to get out of here. All right, good. So we are pretty much set with our carrot farm. Everything should be growing here nicely. Let me know if you guys um, think that everything's good. If I did something wrong, let me know. But so far from what I know, the little limited knowledge of Minecraft that I have, everything's good for now. So um, yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a goddamn a good one. What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you another edition of our Minecraft segment. Let's not waste any time and let's get into the gameplay right now. Alright, so as you guys remember, um, I was doing some work with the crops and things were going quite smoothly. We just finished our little carrot crop here, so now I felt the inkling to go and get that, um, that sand and the um, sugar cane to be able to make our crop centralized over here because I kind of don't like the idea of my crops being super far out like that. So we're going to go, uh, we're going to pretty much go apprehend our crops. Hopefully running on this doesn't hurt it. Um, yeah, I love that you can run on, on like half blocks like that. That's so cool. It works for the most part, but then it stops. I don't know why. Oh, well, whatever. Either way, boom, let's do it. Let's get our crops. Oh shit, I almost fell. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was that deep, deep hole, but I think I covered that up, so excellent. We need to lose some of this useless stuff that we have here, man. We don't need you cobblestone. And we definitely don't need this pile of cobblestone either. Or this pile. You got plenty of cobblestone, dude. We don't need it. Oh, shit, I'm getting hungry. 
Why am I get? Why did I lose hunger so fast? I just ate a whole bunch of rotten flesh. All right, whatever. Let's just pick up this stuff and get out of here. First off, the cobblestone. I mean, the the, the sugar cane. Ready? Let's go. All right. Hopefully, we got all of it. Um. Okay then. Yeah. Good. We got all that. I think. Yeah, we got it all. Okay, good. Now, we're going to pick up this batch. Hopefully that worked out. A few pieces go missing on the side, and that's always annoying to deal with, but um, it's, not too, it's not too much of a problem. It's just annoying, because you don't know if you left some in the water or not. And then finally, this little batch, which really wasn't too big, but it was growing some stalks on the top, so we'd probably be able to fill out this whole thing once we get back to my um, little under cave base thing. Okay, now let's dig this up because we'll definitely need the sand. It's cool, you can see as I'm digging it up like a whole ocean is appearing right near me. That's crazy. Oh yeah, in terms of channel progress, dude, I made a new team, finally. So everything's working out really nicely in that regard. Um, well, I haven't made the new team, but I've come up with the members of who the new team will consist of. So that is actually a really good move made on my part, I think. But yeah, the team, I pretty much came up with who it's going to have, and um, it's got some pretty cool Pokemon in it. Uh, nothing I ever used before. That's another criteria that I set. Anything that I ever used before is not eligible for this team. So no more Ketalanix, no more Juicy, no more Guinevere, no more of these Pokemon that I used to use a lot. This is a brand new 100% kosher team. And I'm dying already. God damn, I just went underwater. All right. Um, yeah, but when you consider all that, everything is kosher. Nothing's going to be recycled here, so the team is going to be really cool. Now, in terms of Minecraft stuff, I want to figure out how to get more known in Minecraft because it seems like with Pokemon, I'm doing a good job, but with the Minecraft, I'm not. The Minecraft views have pretty much the same amount that they've had ever since I started uploading Minecraft videos, and I don't like that. So I need to go to other Minecraft websites. Maybe they have a Minecraft Pokemon Pit type thing where I can like go on other people's Minecraft pages and then like do a video, and they'll like promote. Or rather, like, show me off. I'm really about to die in this bitch. I'm really about to die. Okay, um, maybe they have something like that. But I gotta find it, you know? I don't wanna just, um, I don't wanna just, I gotta find somewhere where I can have my Minecraft videos publicized. Because right now, none of them are really getting publicized like that. And they're not getting anywhere near as much shine as the Pokemon stuff is. Or as the other stuff I'm doing is. Mostly Pokemon stuff I'm doing right now. But, um, also, what else am I doing? I'm doing the Pokemon battle stuff, the X and Y stuff, the skits. Um, what else is my channel doing? This is hilarious. Like, the creator and founder of the Etical World Network has no idea what he's been doing for the last week. I know I've been doing other video ideas besides Minecraft and Pokemon, though. I just need to remember. Oh, yeah, I've been doing the Slender playthrough, and um, the Slender playthrough actually came out really nicely. A lot better than I thought it would, that's for sure. Um, so, yeah, you guys get the point. I need to figure out more stuff I can do to publicize the Etical World Network's Minecraft segment. Because I think the Minecraft is cool. A lot of you guys tell me that you like it. I just haven't been getting anywhere in terms of publicizing it yet, so that's where the annoying part is. I gotta figure out how I'm supposed to do that. Because, you know, I, it's not like I know the Minecraft community that well. I don't know where I can go and publicize my Minecraft videos so everybody sees them, you know? I gotta find out where I can do that. In fact, but since, I have, since I'm partnered with Curse Union for Gamers, I was thinking maybe I could help have them help me out with some of that stuff. Because Curse, they basically say, oh yeah, we'll help you partners out eventually, but they haven't really done much for the partners yet. Really, except for Maryland. You know, Curse loves Maryland. And uh, Maryland, he's a cool guy. I'm not saying that he isn't. But Curse doesn't really done much for anybody else but him. They work with him now. They're fully partnered. And that's probably because he has way more subscribers than they do. So, understandable. I know power usually equates the willingness of people to work with you. I understand that totally. So, I'm not complaining. But, you know, they have other partners too. They need to help all of us out. So, whatever. Either way. I'm not trying to sound salty, but hey, you know, I, I want to see if they can help me out with some of this Minecraft publication, or maybe if not Curse, then some of the other partners that I'm work that are my partner buddies, like, you know, some other people that are partners on Curse that can help me out with publicizing this thing, because, you know, at the end of the day here, you know, we're their partners, and depending on, they do as well as we do, you know, they, Curse does as well as we do, so it's all on them, you know, it is, it is, it just is. Anyways. Um, let's get the fuck out of here because it's about to get really dark. Um, but let's first replant these carrots. Wait a minute. That was only one carrot? Come on, dude. Alright, whatever. Boom. 
let's just put that there. And um, for the other stand, oh wait, let's just put down this sugar cane. Thankfully, when you jump on sugarcane crops, they don't just die. Okay, boom. Oh, we have a lot more sugarcane left. We're gonna have to. We're gonna, we're definitely gonna have to put some more um, crops down. So let's do it. I wonder if I wanted to like put another row of lights in the middle of these two crops, but I'm not sure if that'll be beneficial because um, I'm not sure if that'll be beneficial. For the way this creep is there a zombie oh shit zombie 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 no 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 zombie no 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 did you fuck up my crops i hope you didn't fuck up my crops running sword attack swimming sword attack what does she want she not she not <laughs> falcon blade <laughs> Ow. um okay so hopefully oh, wait i'm about to die i have wait why do I have a potato? Okay, all right, I guess I'll just plant the potato. Oh shit, zombie! Zombie, no, 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 zombie. No, 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 zombie, you can't kill me. You can't kill me, zombie. You can't kill me, you're not allowed to kill me. Fine then, you know what, fuck you. I'm gonna kill you right here. I'm gonna kill you right here, zombie. Whoa, you, you came way too close for comfort, man. Yeah, oh shit, there's another one? Where are they all coming from? I gotta go upstairs and sleep right now. I gotta go sleep right now. I can't fuck around in the daytime, man. I mean, I can't fuck around in the nighttime, man. I can't. I can't fuck around. I'll get smoked. Um, alright. Let's get up here and get out of here right away. Because shit is getting hectic. Okay, okay. Oh, shit! Oh, I thought I was getting hit by a zombie, but it's just the hunger. And I remember you guys telling me you cannot die from hunger. So thankfully, I know my information there. Is there a zombie up there? Please don't let there be a zombie up there. No zombie, no zombie. Okay. Wait, what? I can't rest? There's monsters nearby. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Damn it! Fuck! Where did he come from? Oh, fuck you, spider. Fuck you, spider. You fuck with me, huh? Oh, shit, what's that? Oh, shit, spider! <laughs> spider! <laughs> oh, shit! Yo, yo, you're not gonna make me lose my items. You're not gonna make me lose my items, spider. You saw that, right? Oh, shit, zombie! Zombie, what are you doing up here? Oh, fuck you, zombie. Fuck you. There's more of them! Oh shit, time to dip, time to dip, time to dip, time to dip! No! Damn it, what the fuck? Oh god, hopefully I didn't lose too many good items. Hopefully I didn't lose too many good items. But it seems like I did. Where are those zombies coming from? They're climbing the mountain? Are you kidding me right now? Are you, you gotta be kidding me right now. You gotta be kidding me. Are you dead ass? Oh, are you really serious, zombie? Are you really serious right now? Are you really serious? You fuckers made me lose all my items. I had so many items in my storage and all of them are gone now. You know what? I am so pissed right now. I am so pissed. Oh my god. Where did that spider come from? How did the spider get up here? How did they know I was up here in the first place? Like, they have some crazy view distance if that's the case. I need to get my stuff. But fighting on the side of a mountain is not exactly the safest thing to do, you know? And you know what? I ain't fucking with these zombies no more. I'm, I'm not fucking with you no more. Oh, shit! Zombie! No, 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 zombie! No, 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 zombie! Oh, this is crazy! This is a midnight mountain battle! Fuck you! Go die! Go die right now! Hopefully my pigs are alright in the farm. Because right now, it's looking like this mountain's getting taken over. With zombies and spiders and all other kinds of crazy shit that comes out at night in Minecraft. This is so crazy. Oh, there goes some of my items. Thank God. You guys okay? Good, good. Don't worry. Daddy Eric is here now. Oh, there go the rest of my items. All right, cool. We got this. We got this. Fuck. All right, we got some of our items back. Oh, we got, oh, we got a lot of them back. Good, good. 
All right, everything's cool right now. Everything's cool. Let's go take a little swim. And, um, yeah. My God, did you guys see that? That was like Mountain Siege right there. That shit was crazy. <laughs> I Even though I died, it's not like I had a lot of experience points, so it's all good. But it's crazy. I just didn't want to lose all my items. I did get a good amount of them back, though. And most of the stuff that I lost, I don't think it was that useful. I don't have my torches anymore, so all my torches are gone. And, you know, since it's a mountaintop, it's not like you can just go down and try to find it. Maybe in the daytime I'll be able to find the stuff. But right now, there's no chance. So, whatever. But that was crazy, though. Oh, my God. I cannot believe things got that hectic. Um, okay. I think everything's safe for good. I mean, safe up here. And torches aren't really all that hard to make anyway, so whatever. Either way, let's take a little rest. Whew. Talk about crazy. Talk about crazy, man. All right, let's take a look off the side and see if we can see some of our shit. Yeah, burn, skeleton. Damn skeleton. All right, there we go. Some of our items. Oh, it was our wood. That was really important. All right. Um, let's see. Any more stuff down here? No, no. Okay, good. Um, all right, let's see. Um, no, everything seems good. It seems like we got most of the stuff. We didn't get everything, you know, but there's some stuff that I guess fell way too far from the mountain to be able to be relinquished. So, oh well. Either way, we got the core stuff back, and that's what I'm happy about. So, our journey now continues. Now, if I remember where we left off, we were going to take a nap to make it daytime so this way we can go back down to the farm and work on stuff, but um, to work on the crops. But right now, your boy is way too strung out from that. Let's just use this bone meal and make some of these grass crops grow. I mean, these um, carrot crops grow faster. So this way we can, um, we can get some more carrots growing faster. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, all right, so we're going to take this, take the bone meal, bone meal. Yeah, you like that, don't you? They're like, oh, yes, yes. Give me carrots. What the fuck? Only four carrots? It gives me the same amount of crops that I had. What the hell kind of stuff is that? What? It's supposed to make it grow all the way. You know what? Whatever, whatever. Let's just plant the seed that we have too. Make some wheat in this bitch. We'll put it in the other side, so this way we don't get confused. All right, boom. You know, Farmer Etika, he had some hindrances, but he's still, he's still farming. He's still doing his thing. Still doing the damn thing. With the damn thing in the damn range. Pop champagne. Hey. Okay. Um, let's see. What else can we do down here? We need to make a one layer underneath, so this way the sand doesn't get totally malwapped. And surprisingly enough, our health went all the way back to full. And yet, I didn't eat anything, so I'm wondering what the hell... Oh, I died! <laughs> now I remember. <laughs> uh, I was about to say, oh, maybe the bed did restore our health. No, I died. Okay, uh, let's put some more of this crap down. Actually, let's put this sand down first. Shit just got hectic, man. That mountain battle. That mountain battle was fun, but it was crazy. Oh, shit. All right. I think the Minecraft game is getting harder as the days go by, you know? Maybe the difficulty of that whole siege was influenced by the 1.6 update. Maybe. Oh, fuck. Maybe it was influenced by that. Wait, what? Oh, it has to be next to water. Oh, it has to be, and it's not connected to water in any way. Oh, I get it. I get it now. Okay then, so the, the sugar cane always has to be next to water, no matter what. Alright, I learned my lesson. I'm now prepared. Hopefully that's not the rule with these, because... Hopefully that's not the rule with the other crops, because if that's the case, then... Let's just say I fucked up. Hopefully it's not the case, though. Um, Alright, so it looks like we're going to have to dig up all this sand, and then restart. Oh, thankfully sand gets dug up really quickly, so that's not really too much of a problem. And thanks to us losing all of our items, we pretty much have full reign to gather all this stuff up without having our inventory filled. How great is that? Alright then, guys. 
This is a great place to end it. That was a crazy episode, but thank you once again for tuning in to the Ethical World Network Gaming Commentary Minecraft segment. I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.